Well, I'm hoping we're going to have full funding for K through 12 with an emphasis on early childhood education because we know that's where we get the most bang for the buck. I'm hoping that we will be able to add more money to our need grants for low-income college students as well as hold the line on tuition costs. We are in an enormous transition in our health care system because we are integrating, and Clark County is way ahead of the rest of the state on this, but we're integrating our mental health system with our physical health system, and we're in the process of bringing more and more people into the insured system. So there's a lot of challenges, and I'm hoping that we will continue to invest in that and make that system work better. We have a lot of people who are waiting for services and who qualify for services, but we haven't put enough money in to serve all of them. Um, I'm hoping we'll be able to put some more funding in and so more, more people will receive those services that they need. A short answer is no. We have a revenue system, tax system is regressive, and we've given away a lot of money in tax breaks with our B&O tax breaks and our tax preferences on sales taxes. So we've given away a lot and we're coming out of a really bad recession. So yeah, we've been short of cash, but our economy is improving and we've learned a lot more about what works and what are the best practices and programs. So we're gonna be having some more money. We are under Supreme Court order to put more money into our educational system and there's never been a better time to do that. And I think that we'll be able to move in that direction towards a less regressive tax system and make sure that those dollars go where they're gonna do the most good for our economy and for our entire state. Some of our high-tech companies tell us that we're not educating people in the way that they need and they're still hiring people from out of state and out of country. So we need to put more money into our high-tech, high-demand fields and that means making sure that our kids are prepared from day one so they can move into those fields. It means that adults whose jobs have been eliminated because of changes in our economy can get back and get the training they need. And so that means being very nimble, particularly at our community college and college level, so that people can continually learn and adjust and have good employment. They were great questions. We got a lot of questions about our oil train safety. We got a lot of questions about education. And we got a lot of questions about our tax system. I'm Sharon Wiley from the 49th District, America's Vancouver. Thank you so much for listening. <laughs>